If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my Patreon for early access to videos and exclusive content on streaming for beginners. Okay, show of hands. Who still believes that the sun goes around the earth? <laughs> Nobody. Oh, but everybody used to. It sure looks like it does. The sun comes up in the east, Cap the sun goes Cap down Cap in the west. The sun comes up in the east again, uh -huh. so the sun goes around the earth. Yep. It seems intuitively irrefutable. And yeah, but we know better. It is so. But it's not true. The sun doesn't go around the earth. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that, but only Not now. everyone. We still so have flat earthers. People still believe the moon goes around the earth. It's not true either. That's what I thought. We have to go back over 500 years to begin to get an idea of how I thought it was like the moon does, the earth was going around fact. the sun and then Nicholas the moon was going around, around 1510. Wish I knew what was wrong with the moon, but something's up with my eyes, though. Can't keep them off you. Andy with the spicy, yeah. spicy entrance. What's up, dude? How are you? Copernicus's difficulty in promoting the sun-centered solar system <laughs> Proof. depended on another bold conceptual innovation. World view be challenged or changed. Copernicus had two... It's crazy how much, like, our understanding of the Bible has, like, fucked up so many things. Galileo had observational Galileo, 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 Galileo. Galileo first observed the moons of Jupiter and kept track of their orbits. Isn't that crazy, yes, guys? He saw that hundreds of years Jupiter. ago. They go round and round the giant planet in actual orbits, unlike, as we shall soon see, how our moon travels around the sun with the Earth. Galileo became famous, or infamous, oh. as the case may be, because he discovered orbital motions that were not heliocentric, that did not fit the accepted worldview. It rattled civilization's Earth-centered cosmology. Rattle. Galileo was indeed Galileo. Later in 1610, Galileo observed Galileo. through his telescope, which only had an aperture of one and a half inches. Wow. The planet Venus going That's through like nothing. phases, just like the moon goes through stages. Galileo wrote Galileo. That Venus imitates the moon in Latin in his notebook. There could be no other explanation for these observations. Venus was orbiting oh, the sun. Oh, that's cool. People were afraid to look through Galileo's telescope when he set it up in the great square of Pisa. Why would they be they were afraid? Too scared to have their worldview revolution shattered. <laughs> strange as it may seem. People are weird, guys. Like, you think, you know, you you think that bringing truth to a different person that person is going to be like eager to learn and like accept something different. But it's in our nature as humans to like not want that. Like we are just conditioned to say, I believe a certain way and it's irrefutable and there's absolutely nothing that can change my mind. Even though you're clearly showing me proof right in my face, I, I cannot accept it and I don't believe it. It's just, it's weird how humans are. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Go ahead, chat. What are the next words? Moon, as its clever official international astronomical... Guys, that human is revolving around the moon. ...orbiting around the Earth, showing its different phases throughout the lunar month, or moonth, as moon fans sometimes like to call the 29 and a half day cycle of lunar phases. Moon lovers' favorite day of the week, of moon course, lovers. is Moon Day. Moon Day! Can give us the, Earth is the, moon the crescent center, moon? And how yeah. it goes around the Earth in a circular path. Yeah. This is the geocentric view of the moon. It's uh, what we see from Earth. Uh -huh. The moon comes up, the moon goes down. Right. The moon comes up again. The moon goes around the Earth. But that's not what's happening in space. That's crazy! That's what I thought it's was happening in space! Time. Oh, the Earth right. Is not stationary at all. No, We're it's zooming just, around the it's sun zooming, at a yep. very high speed. Yeah. Anywhere between 66 and 68,000 miles an hour. That boggles my mind. Any picture of the moon. And we don't feel it, chat. Isn't that weird? Like, we're moving at that rate of speed and we don't feel it. But, like, if you go 60 miles in a car, you're like. Is a sinusoidal path back oh, and forth. Oh, well, I knew this. Forth, it made it sound like it was different. Moving path of the Earth by always moving forward and sinusoidal. The path of the moon does not qualify as an orbit in the same uh, sense that the other moons in the solar system orbit their planets in elliptical paths. Therefore, it is wrong uh, to say the moon orbits the Earth. So it's all... Okay, so that's that's major clickbait. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to learn something very, very different. But it's more of a technicality, right? So it's like, okay, it's not 
it's not the our moon does not travel for example like jupiter's moons where it goes in an elliptical uh path around the planet it's in whatever i don't know how to pronounce how they said it but it's in a very it's a different type of path that it's traveling on and that's why it's technically not going around the earth but it's it's going along with the earth um if that makes sense. People still believe the Earth is flat, Dim. Please, people are dumb. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Accordingly, objections are put forward to block the revolutionary heliocentric view of the moon from being universally accepted. One such objection is that the moon never leaves the Earth's gravity well, and therefore should be rightly considered a moon of the Earth, an orbital to use the astronomical term for satellite. Undoubtedly, the moon never leaves the Earth's gravity. This is well. all technicalities, course, chat. The moon. All technicalities. However, representations of this well-known definite fact always show the moon moving around the Earth because the astronomers who propose as orbital evidence that... Honestly, chat, because the moon has an effect on our tides, right? Ocean tides. If the moon was actually in an orbital... Like, in an orbital path and it came closer and further away from the earth that would significantly damage our world Ill or neglect to include the facts of the moon's continuously forward sinusoidal motion sinusoidal Escape that's the word velocity. imagine the gnarly waves though andy you'd be the uh, you would be the person out there surfing on those gnarly waves there's another objection to looking at the moon from a heliocentric point of view the coast would suffer. The Agreed. Barry Center of the Earth Moon System. Barry Center. The Barry okay. Center is the center of gravity between the Earth and the Moon. Uh -huh. Think of yourself on a seesaw in the park. The other end of the seesaw is a massive lineman from a professional football team. That's How that's far me. Forward towards you. Would the lineman have to move so that you both are balanced evenly? Mm. He'd have to move towards you almost to the center of the seesaw. Right. You are the Moon, and the lineman is the Earth. Mm -hmm. Although Earth is a feminine name. Prove. However, these astronomers always seem to add the geocentric animation of the moon or... It's kind of interesting. It's almost like the Earth weighs too much or weighs too little. And the moon is like balancing it out. And then they, they dance together around the sun. Orbiting as Captain America Earth, would say. With the Barry Center inside. In this way, they can keep the moon orbiting around the Earth. But it's somewhat dishonest to combine two different perspectives in one animation. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Okay. This leads us directly to the real sticking point that keeps us from believing that the moon is orbiting the sun. The double planet conundrum. The International Astronomy Union refuses to consider the moon and earth a double planet. They refuse to do so almost exclusively because the very center of the earth-moon system is inside the earth. It's tough to buck city hall, as the saying goes. I'm confused. You'll recall that IAU or UAI, if you use the French. They all look too young to be scientists. Pluto to dwarf planet status. Yeah. And they still haven't reversed that decision. I remember that. Despite seemingly ample evidence that Pluto that is, it is the a ninth planet. planet. Yeah. Perhaps we should reflect on what it means to be an Earthling. To be an Earthling implies that we know ourselves to be space-born people orbiting a yellowish star near the outskirts of a spiral galaxy. Crazy. We, meaning all the peoples of Earth, live in space and are absolute creatures from space above us is the moon earth's companion we're making a big mistake by referencing the moon according to our geocentric parameters mm. our conceptual expansion into space is inhibited by an incorrect outdated earthbound view of the moon the universe doesn't revolve around us and neither does the moon interesting 